one thing I admire about the Cambodian people is resolve and resilience. The U.S. Embassy is celebrating uh, America Cambodia Friendship Week. So can you tell us what it is and why is it important? Well, you know, Siem Reap is really important to Cambodia uh, as an uh, economic engine, as a cultural, historic, spiritual center. And it's Cambodia's second city. So the United States has a lot of interest here. We have many programs, many activities, many partnerships. I have the opportunity to come to Siem Reap from time to time, but this week is an opportunity for me to bring a big team, over 60 Americans and Cambodians to come here during a week to highlight our friendship, our partnerships, our cooperation, and shed a little light on all of the activities we have and what Cambodians and Americans can do together. So it's really a week of appreciation. And it's been so much fun for us to be here, but also very productive to engage with our partners and friends. All right, so it is a week of appreciation of our friendship. All right, so Mr. Ambassador, it is um, the fourth year anniversary of your ambassadorship. You have been in the country for five years, and I am sure that uh, you have been working a lot with us and have met people from all walks of life. So I think perhaps um, you have uh, something that captured your heart and your soul about our country. So can you share with us your exceptional uh, experience or memories like, of, of being ambassador for five years? Well, there are so many. I first of all, I love being an ambassador. I love being a, an American diplomat representing my country. And it's such an honor in particular to be an ambassador. When I first came to Cambodia, it was a, a career achievement. And I feel very fortunate that I've been here for four years and I'm continuing. Um, so many highlights. But really what I enjoy is, is traveling in the province, engaging with Cambodians, and working together to achieve good results for the health, for the prosperity of the American people and the Cambodian people. When I reflect back on four years, you know, the ASEAN chair year was obviously a highlight because Cambodia had a chance to host leaders from around the world, including my president, and also cabinet members from the United States who came here throughout the year. And Cambodia did a good job as chair. That was a real highlight. But I also enjoy engaging with Cambodian culture, seeing your temples, seeing your beautiful natural resources. I like to run, and the chance to run in all of the provinces and get exercise, and join, for example, the Angkor Wat Half Marathon. I've done that three times, and hopefully I have another chance in the future. I don't know how much longer I'll be in Cambodia, but for the time being, I'm still here. I'm still dedicated to doing everything I can to improve the relationship and our understanding, but also to solidify people-to-people -people ties, because that's what it's really all about. Yeah. Um, it seems like you have been to many places in the country and also like talked to a lot of people. So uh, what are one thing that you can learn from Cambodian people? Well, one thing I admire about the Cambodian people is resolve and resilience. Cambodia has had a difficult history. Some young people are not familiar with its history of conflict and challenges and struggles. And when you look where Cambodia was 30 years ago and where it is today, it's hard to recognize. So Cambodia has come quite some distance and is now a middle income economy, is a member of ASEAN, um, and is contributing to so many things on a global, global scale. Of course, we hope some things can improve, and we want to see Cambodia improve its respect for human rights and democratic practices. We work on those issues together, but we also cooperate and accomplish a great deal. But fundamentally, I think the Cambodian people are terrific, very kind-hearted, very respectful. Everywhere I go, I hear that Americans enjoy what the United States has to offer. Many young people hope to study in the United States, and of course, many Cambodians have had the opportunity to partner with us and, and partake in our programs. The potential is really good. So when I think about the future, I think about even more that our two countries, our two peoples can do together.